dream and I'm aspiring to be at this level, but uh, actually receiving that phone call and, and you know, having your family around is, is really surreal. What's the biggest thing you can take away from just day one that you learned? The, just the speed of it. You know, it's a lot faster. You know, they, 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 put, they install stuff and they expect you to know it and, and be able to come out here and, and do it to a high level. So it's really just the speed of the game. No problem. I think it's sorry. I think it's interesting to say you know speed of the game is already faster now, and you haven't even <laughs> seen live snaps sort of against going against other people. Right. It's just really uh, you know how the coaches expect you to move around and, and do things. They expect you to pick up on things quicker than you know than when you were in college. In college, you slow it down. You know, they, they kind of walk you through a lot more things, but, you know, out here they, they show you and they expect you to be able to soak it in and, and apply it to the drills. So how is it working with Coach Booger? Oh, it's great. You know, I mean, obviously it's the first day. I'm sure he, you know, kind of altered it because it was the first day, but, you know, I really enjoyed working under him so far, you know, the time I have had, and, and I look forward to the future. Have you got a chance to talk to any of the veterans yet? No, I haven't quite got to got the chance to kind of mix and mingle with the veterans, but I'm sure that time will come, and I'm looking forward to it. Is it like kind of working with uh, Coach Boudreau, getting, uh, getting to know him? Oh, it's great. Uh, you know, so far the the work we've done, I think I think he's an excellent teacher. I think he will be a uh, a coach and a guy that that will be able to get me to where I'm trying to get to, and uh, we'll just keep working every day and see see where it takes us. They drafted. A lot of linemen. There's a lot, <laughs> lot, a lot of guys out there. Is that good for competition? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, the good thing, um, my motto's always been iron shopping iron. You know, so so you want to have a lot of good guys around you and be able to push you and kind of make you play to the best of your ability all the time. When you do that, everyone gets better. So so iron shopping iron is the motto. I know you guys didn't do a lot out here today, but how did you like right your arm? Uh, it was different. Um, you know, obviously I, I played tackle in college, so, you know, being able to have that look and have that experience inside, you know, it was different, but it was fun. Now, we read somewhere that you love breakfast. Is that right? Is that like your favorite meal? Uh, breakfast is probably one of my favorite meals. <laughs> Just one, one of them? Not, not, the <laughs> <laughs> not the favorite, but it's one of the favorites. Okay. The, the reports were exaggerated then, I guess. Okay. No, I mean, okay. you know, I can't speak on it right now. <laughs> uh, now, one, one other thing, a Fady said he got you for a sack. Was this last season? Have you talked to him? You know, the Memphis guy. Yeah, um, you know, don't quote him on that and don't quote me. I, you know, I can't really remember giving up a sack against Memphis at all. But, you know, if, that, if that's the way to stir up competition, then, you know, then I like it. So we might follow us with the he loves breakfast story. Maybe not quite what Right, not, not, not quite, you know what it may seem, you know, so we'll see. You mentioned being around family on draft days. Any, any memories stick out? Maybe uh, extra special for you? I mean, everyone was yelling. Other than that, yeah. we got the police called on us. So, uh, <laughs> you know, everyone was yelling that loud. We made a, uh, a loud ruckus in the neighborhood. So that was that was probably the memory that sticks out to me. Yeah. Where, where, it says you're from Fort Fern Creek, Kentucky. Where is no, that? No, I'm actually from Louisville, Kentucky. I went to Fern Creek High School. Okay. Yeah. In so, Louisville. Right. It's in Louisville. How cool! I mean, you're like <laughs> four and a half hour drive. Yeah, yeah. It's not that far. So you know, I'm fortunate to have landed, you know, where I landed. You know, it's, it's convenient for my family to still be able to kind of commute up here, and uh, be able to watch me play or whatever it be, be able to interact with the team. So you know, I'm actually grateful to land land so close, close to home. And your jersey number? Any uh, any uh, story behind that, or is that just what you were assigned? Um. Coach actually asked me, and, and that's the one I chose. It's not really um, any specific, you know, story or myth or anything behind it. It was just one I chose.